the heart meal there. Big old five by four, just what we want. First bowl, baby. First bowl. That's our first one together. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it comes. <laughs> Dude. Oh my. The freaking giant. Heck yeah. I'll take that for a last day back. Just get to work. Stop talking. <laughs> This is a tag I've yearned for my entire life. A once in a lifetime Shiras Moose, one of the best units the West has to offer. That in my mind, my expectations were high. I wanted to find a mature old bull to notch this tag on. Another awesome thing about this tag is I can use either a bow or a rifle. So I was gonna try to spot and stalk if the opportunity was right. And if not, time got down to the wire. I had my trusty Norma to get the job done. One thing is for sure, and that's that I'm going to hunt hard until I find the perfect bull, the bull that feels right, and I'm not going to settle for anything less. With my, with my expectations high for, for this moose, it was exciting to see some mule deer feeding, and if the moose are as nice as these bucks, we should have a good hunt opening morning. Wow. Not quite what I had envisioned for opening day. Woke up to about six inches of snow. Uh, it's kind of a blizzard at the moment. Really interesting here. We'll see. We'll see how it goes here. All right, we got a little overzealous here, and we're getting ready to get out in glass. But we uh, we decided that we're going to give it a little bit more time, and we got a buddy here that's going to show us uh, some some spots here. So we're going to hang out with him for a minute and go around and see some of this the area and uh, get after it after that. But it looks like the snow quit, so. Hopefully the fog lifts and go from there, so. Opening morning, we drove around waiting for the snow to stop and the fog to lift so we could glass for moose. While cruising around, we bumped a cow on the road and spotted some bull elk playing in the snow. Since we couldn't see anything up high, we decided to go lower in the mountain where there wasn't much fog. We found a herd of elk, which was cool, and eventually we spotted a cow pretty far away. But there wasn't a bull with her, which was interesting, given that it's mid-rut. With the snow finally clearing, we headed back up the mountain in search for bulls. We turned the corner and Peyton on the corner of his eye saw a bull up on the opposite side of his draw. He's, by the time we got this spotter out, I don't know that we're going to be able to show him to you, but uh, there's nonetheless a bull over there, which is pretty cool. I don't think it's a shooter bull, but it's a bull, but uh, he's definitely a cool bull. He's rutting a cow pretty good too, so. Happy to see a bull and a bull on his feet and rutting a cow, so hopefully he gets her bred and these magnificent beasts can continue to reproduce. Summer to winter, overnight. Rain for three or four hours last night, and snowed a bunch. We're gonna go check out another piece of the unit. Uh, see if we can't find anything. All right, it's cold as balls, and everything's on their feet except for moose. We saw one bedded cow clear off yonder in the distance, and. No bull with her, which is strange because it's the rut. But uh, we're just gonna keep exploring this country, and it's thick, nasty stuff. It's some of the stuff I'm like, man, I don't think I'd want to shoot a moose in it. But if he's big enough, I would. 
<laughs> it must be moose hour. Oh shoot, there's another one. Oh my gosh, we got four moose now. That one's a bull because I can see its antlers. I don't know if that's a shoot or not. <laughs> Not the bull we're after. Uh, definitely a cool bull. Bull. He's got. Looks like he's broke on the top of his paddle. Maybe one brow, and then another brow that's maybe broke. I don't know. Good to see a bull though. We've got 11 moose all of a sudden, and uh, we got four cows with no bulls, and we have two cows with two bulls and a calf, and then we have a spike bull over here, a teeny guy, and then we have a pretty nice bull over here, another shooter though, with no cow, so hopefully the bull finds the cow and they can get married so they can have more baby bulls, or, you know, moose. Anyway, we're still looking for the big daddy. No luck yet. I'm sure there's parts there's parts of this draw that we can't see. The topography is just crazy. It's super brushy, extremely steep. So our best bet's to just keep, you know, driving and see if we can find new spots that we can see into. But I think we're about out of out of light. But I kind of think we've seen all we're gonna see here. So we should probably pack up and see if we can hit a couple more spots before we can't see anymore. So we're gonna jump back in the range here and see if we can't look into some different draws. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, well, it's our uh, second day hunting here. And we got up a little later just because we're hunting so close to the camp. We're gonna check ahead of this canyon because it's the most stockable country and see if anything's moved in and uh, see if we can't figure out where the big mature bulls are. So hopefully we can get eyes on something big and and uh, make a stock if it's something that we're, it gets us excited, so. We're over here to one of the primo glassing spots that we Figured we'd look at and got a cow down here, we've got a cow here, we got a cow and a calf here. We saw something going to the trees over here. I don't know exactly what it was. It was a moose, but didn't get a look at that. Well, we got a couple bulls over here finally. Okay, we're trying to figure out if we have a Shooter bull here. He looks like he's got wide paddles. He looks like he's got. Looks like he's fairly tall. I mean, we got a really nice bull here. Um, looks like there's two or three bulls over there in the same group. Um, definitely a respectable bull. Probably not the bull we want to shoot on day two or. Or even the last day, to be honest, he's he just I think he needs a year or two to get mature and a little more mature at least. Just kind of like Aaron, he needs another year or two before he's a little more mature. <laughs> just kidding. Anyway, we'll keep looking. After looking over these bulls, we decided to try another spot. We wanted to glass and cover as much ground as possible because we knew this would be our best chance of finding a mature bull, perhaps the biggest one in the unit. But the rest of the day was slow. We hiked around, glassed some different spots, but the moose weren't on their feet. It was weird. Lucky for us, we had Aaron coming up to help glass and cover ground so we could split up. I'm a little late to the party, but I came up to help Eric on his moose hunt here and uh, we just spotted a pretty nice moose. I got the camera on him right now. Um, we're just trying to get a better look to see what he is, but Peyton and Eric are off on another canyon. But anyway, 
Nice to see a moose first thing this morning. It's cold. Well, we've got three bulls, about like yesterday. It looks like they're the same three bulls. And we got the same Aaron's over here. He calls on the radio and he's got the same broken bull with the paddle, broken paddle. But we're still, at some point, we just think that some different bulls are gonna show up. But we're just kind of waiting for that. It's weird, it's like heats up for 20, 30 minutes and then dies. It's like the moose come out of the trees and then they go back in. So where Aaron's at, they can see a whole nother draw and he said they saw a good one with good paddles clear over there, but be interesting to see or hear what they see. All right, so we're gonna go meet back up and at camp and then we're gonna see if we can get eyes on that other bull. So. While heading over to the other canyon, we spotted a small bull off the road. Then even farther out, we spotted what looked like a decent bull. He had tall paddles, could have possibly been a shooter. We could either go after him or go check out the bull Aaron spotted earlier that morning. We decided to leave this bull and try to find the bull Aaron saw and check out the canyon we hadn't been to yet. But just like the day before, things started out hot. We had moose on their feet all morning, but once the afternoon hit, we couldn't seem to find anything. You wouldn't think finding such a big animal would be so difficult. But the moose were tucking themselves away and we just couldn't find them. The rest of the afternoon was slow and I even offered Peyton a hundred bucks to eat some poop on a stick. For some reason, I couldn't convince him. I'm trying to see if Peyton here oh. would eat this for a hundred bucks. Not ever. Huh? Not ever. 20 bucks. 20 bucks? <laughs> no. Okay, half of it for 20. Never. A bite. I could, I could make 20 bucks <laughs> way easier. <laughs> like one bite, like. How much would you do it for? Like to take a big bite of this, like a complete mouthful? A complete mouthful. Ooh. <laughs> That's like ripe. <laughs> Two hundred bucks. You you take a big. You pay me two hundred bucks. I'll take a big for two hundred bucks. You would not. With a fresh two hundred bucks in my pocket, we continued looking for moose. We spent the rest of the day glassing canyons and covering ground in hopes to locate a big bull. We know they exist, and we were going to find them. But that night, we didn't spot anything until right before sunset. I spotted a pretty nice moose over there, but it's so dark and there's. A little bit of sunset flare and he's tall, big frame. He had decent wide paddles, but not crazy. But doesn't matter, I wasn't hitting record on the phone scope, so and now it's so dark you can't hardly even see anything. It's a bummer, it all happens in the last ten minutes and it's like a scramble fest. Moose, 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 how big is this one? How big is this one? We're gonna try something a little bit different today. We're we're obviously gonna hit that same spot, look out, and he's gonna look back across, see if he can spot, try to find any of those big bulls. And then um, we're gonna hit another spot where I saw a bull at last light. That we really can get a really good look at. And if we don't find anything in there, we're gonna go still hunt through the pines and, and call and see if we can't turn anything up. So, all right, we got a pretty cool bull down there. I think it's a bull that we've seen. He's got a little patch of velvet left there. Giant beard, it's cool seeing it sway. Such incredible animals, these things are so neat. But anyway, not the one we're after, so we're gonna keep looking around this morning. Aaron's on the opposite ridge, glassing across, so I haven't heard from him yet, so hopefully he's, uh, hopefully he sees something. Try to get over into that other canyon to see that bull that we saw last night. We saw a bunch of bulls this morning. Um, it's cool today. There's an overcast. I'm hoping they should be out longer, so we're going to try to hurry and get over here and see some different countries. So that's what we're going to do right now. 
starting to know what to do. This is definitely a stud. He's wide. Just have a lot going on for paddles. He's got, he's got no palms. He's all tines. I know. That's what was funky about him when I first saw him. He's all tiny. All right, it's a big old bull. Um, he doesn't really have brow tines. He's just got a big old, like, tine instead of brow tines. Just one big main tine on his left. He's pretty wide, not a lot of paddle to him. <laughs> he's, he's pretty cool. I don't think I want to shoot him, but that's definitely one I'm gonna say, okay. There's this old bull here. I'm gonna save him for something. A backup or something like that, but he's cool. Big boy. So I'm just gonna mark a waypoint here on base map so I know where this, this dude is. Not every day you get a mark a moose marker. There you go. Moose marked. On base map, we'll keep this guy in our pocket. He's cool. I like to keep this one. I'm, I'm glad we're seeing some new moose. Like you come on an adventure like this of a lifetime, you, you want to put your eyes on a lot of animals. Um, I am being picky, but I can be, and I want to be, because I would like to prolong my experience and see different animals. It's not every day you get to chase moose and see, actually shop for them, if you will. Um, window shopping moose. It's, it's cool seeing all the different antler types and configurations and wide versus, uh, you know, big paddles and tines and everything else. So pretty neat. What's the, what are we the doing? plan? The plan here is we're just gonna go still hunting through some of this timber that we haven't really seen before. Would you stop farting? That one was me. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you are disgusting. For someone who gets mad, if anyone else <laughs> is a human being, <laughs> is a human being. Yeah, you get mad at people for being human. Hey, what? finish. What uh, we we're just gonna go still. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna go. Tell still me from hunt. A to Z. Start okay, over. A to Z. We're gonna just still hunt through the top of this timber because we think there could be a big bull in here, and we think there's moose hiding that we haven't seen or haven't been able to get footage of. So that's what we're doing. Rather than sit rather than sit at, sit at home on our duff, we'll sit back at camp and be warm. We might as well go sweat and stuff. Sweat and be cold. If you could be any kind of moose, what kind of moose would you be? Be the, the biggest moose. You could be the biggest moose? Why? Everyone would want to shoot me. <laughs> I'd be dead. <laughs> That's why? Yeah. You'd want to be the biggest moose, huh? You know, it'd probably be better to be a medium moose. Yeah, there you go. People won't want to shoot you. Or every time you grow your antlers, break them off. Yeah, do that if you're big. Make sharp edges that sharp you can edges. poke other moose with, but still not look good to a hunter. Like you, you want to be the big moose so you can get the ladies, <laughs> but you don't want to show your antlers off so people won't want to yeah, shoot you. So break them and turn them into shards. I got it. Yeah. Well, we just did a little loop. Felt good to get out and hike and get after it. Uh, we did a couple of call stands, but wasn't really a lot of moose sign to be honest. I mean. I didn't see anything super moosey, scrapes or uh, droppings or whatnot, but it felt good to get my heart going anyway. After taking a nice hike through the woods, we headed back to the best glassing spot. But tonight, all we saw was a four point buck. Hopefully this meant the moose were on their feet moving around and the next morning we could locate a new bull moving through our glassing spots. All right, well, we're here again. There's already a cow over there. Um, we're gonna give this a half hour and then we're, we're gonna move on. Might be something right there too. 
just a moose bush. Um, anyway, we're just gonna try to cover a little bit more ground a little quicker this morning. If we're not seeing what we need to see, move on. I got Peyton, it's gonna go down the hill a little bit and try to glass up to where I'm at. I'm gonna watch this and Aaron's looking back across, so. That's the plan. I just spotted a, a bull that looks good. Problem is it's from like two miles away. I don't know, maybe 3,000 yards or more than that, but he's bedded down next to a cow, so we're gonna go try to get a closer look. Whew. We split up this morning, and I think I may have found Pegasus, but I'm not sure. Pegasus, who's that? I don't know, I just, first thing that came to my head when I saw him today. So this is at the top of the, this is at the head, head? of the, more towards the head of the canyon. Like right here? Mm-hmm. So, <clears throat> you can look this over and tell me what you think, but. I got shoddy video, but you can, you get a second. Slow it down and kind of get to that good part and then. That's a freaking giant. Yeah. He's like right off the road. He is? Yeah, you just have to drop down. The road's right there. That's But we I'm, still need someone spotting the cross. I know, and I don't, uh, yeah. I just. Get in and get warm real quick. Holy crap, that's a freaking giant. <laughs> His paddle was huge. His paddle's gigantic. Wow, that, that's a freaking stud. We got to figure out a way to kill him. Let's get Aaron warm and then send Aaron back across and we'll go over there, so. Um, I went and got Eric and Peyton, got him in position, came back and I relocated him. And he's out in an opening right now and Eric and Peyton are dropping him from above. So, oh, this is cool. This is a beautiful, beautiful bull. Big palms, wide, big fronts, beautiful bull. So I'm gonna keep my eye on him. I got camera on him right now, so cool bull. We got a giant. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what kind of stock to put on him. Holy cow, he's big. Uh, here, Aaron's on the other side of the canyon looking at him. That's the box we've been looking for. Big fronts, big paddles, tall, wide. That's exactly the moose we've been looking for. It's a freaking toad. We just gotta figure out how to stock in on him. Just a little update. Um, Peyton and Eric uh, couldn't get on that bull before he bedded, and he bedded in this thick, 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 thick stuff. I got the camera on him, so they're gonna back out, and we'll try to figure something else out. So they're calling me though. We just hiked up out of that hole, and it's a lot brushier <laughs> than it looks, especially glass and across. And it's taken five and a half days to find this bull and I don't really want to screw it up. So, I don't know, I'm debating on whether they're grabbing my rifle. I'm gonna radio Aaron, his phone's dead, and I gotta talk to my buddy here, but we'll give you an update in a minute. Drove out to the other side of that canyon to get a good look across, and I took some pictures so I could see, try to get identify some landmark trees and figure out what route I want to take, and depending on what the wind's doing, we're gonna make a play in here, and I'm gonna try to get my rifle and my bow ready, I think. I don't really want to pack them both, but, We'll see here, so. Eric and Peyton are back on this bull and uh, they're probably within a hundred yards. 
they could be as close as 70 or so. Um, that bull's in some thick, thick stuff, so I just don't know how they're gonna be able to see him or I don't know how it's gonna work, but I still got eyes on the bull. He's just snoozing. Be interesting to see how it plays out. We tried to relocate that bull after pushing him out, but he went into a thick timber patch and we weren't sure which direction he headed after that, so we spent the rest of the afternoon looking for him or another shooter bull. Eventually Aaron spotted a nice bull in the faraway canyon, so we jumped to the ranger, got over there as fast as we could, hoping to put a stock on it. In fact, we hauled him so fast that he lost his hat and he's mad at me, but we'll find his hat and we're going to go try to play on this bull. See that bull we came down here for. But he's, I don't know, 200 yards out of bounds, so it doesn't really matter. I tried my lame sauce freaking snort call grunt moose combo and it didn't work. On him anyway. He's gonna head down, you can see his paddle. Hmm. Well, Aaron turns up our 
the bull. What are you doing? I got my hat because the uh, speed racer over here is going locked in to find a moose. <laughs> We're losing all our gear. There it is. How mad, how mad were you on a scale of one to ten when you lost your hat? Like a three. <laughs> oh. I was, I was like, oh, it's okay. And then I was like, oh, my hair. <laughs> it's going to be everywhere. Uh, three is not bad. After getting Peyton's hat back, we headed back to camp hoping to have a little better luck the next day. And maybe things were starting to heat up because the first thing that morning Aaron spotted was what looked like a decent bull on a faraway ridge. We headed over hoping to get a better look at him. After looking around, he was gone and things were slowing down for that midday low. Aaron went and picked up a moose shed that he glassed up. Then we decided to cruise around on the ranger, hoping to get lucky and see a moose on his feet. Talk to me, Eric. All right, we are driving down to this spot. We, I spotted a moose in the trees and it's a bull. We're trying to figure out how big it is. Yeah, I got a good look at this bull now. He's broke. Awesome bull. I could let Norma out and let her eat. She's getting ready, but I think it's gonna be a good night tonight. Get some good video of him here. He's pretty broke. He's like a chipmunk beetle. The side of his antler off. After passing on that broken bull, I knew it was only a matter of time until the big boy would show up. We were seeing new moose every day, and they were starting to cover a lot more ground looking for cows. With time starting to run low, we started the next morning in a new location hoping to see something different. I want to go check the radio. Is that on? Beautiful. I'm a certified freak, seven days a week. Peyton's father's some really nice bulls. Good job, Peyton. What are here for? It sucks. It'd be nice if they, for once, would just bet out in the open and help us out, but that sucker just is in the trees now, so. He could be bedded on an open side on that. Other you never side? Know. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Certified freak, seven days a week. <laughs> This is all super thick, uh, oak brush, but there's a there's a clear opening to where you can get to that. Those bulls were higher; they were more like this. Yeah. But if you can get to right there, you and Pete can glass into that. Yeah, we can try that. walking this old two track and trying to cut the distance to where we knew they just fed over not 15 minutes earlier and looks like they'd work their rid they'd work two little ridges over <laughs> and we bumped them at 10 and 15 yards in a thick nasty 
stuff. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> so frustrating. And we're just so clumsy falling over ourselves over there. And so thick. And it was like really thick where we bumped him. And it was wide open just past that. So it was like just bad luck that we bumped him right there. Because if we could have got past that little thick spot, and we just saw him in the open right there. So, I don't even know what to say anymore. Frustrating. After the fiasco of walking right on top of those bulls and again not being able to get a shot off, I decided our best chance that evening was to split up to cover as much ground as possible. This gave us the best chance at relocating one of our shooter bulls. With no luck that night, we were heading into one of our last days to get a bull down. That morning, I went with the same plan and dropped everyone off at different lo locations to glass. And as luck would have it, we spotted a decent bull and we headed to get into position for a better I look. I think it's him. He's long, he's got big fronts, skinning the paddles. trying to figure out if this is shootable or not. It's our last day, but we get a, I have a week I can come back and hunt. It's a once in a lifetime thing. I'd rather be as picky, picky as possible and hunt hard and enjoy the moment versus hurrying and filling my tag. So hmm, the issue I'm up against is time. I need to get back to work and get things done. He bedded though now and we're just waiting to make sure he's the one. So I kind of, I'm kind of on the fence, which means he's probably not, but we'll check it out and see if we can get a better look. What are you doing? Trying to get a stupid bowl to stand up to look over, but... We can't get this sucker to stand up. Give him the chewy Chewbacca. What's that? You brought him like what? I'm gonna go at him with one paddle in the air. And just go, just, con just confuse the heck out of him. I can probably get right in there if I do this. <laughs> Make those, have you do them the Chewbacca sound? <laughs> I'm sure he wouldn't know. Uh, Where is he? Right there? You see his paddle? When he turns That's him right there. Yeah, oh. See? He's got long fronts. Oh! Uh, We're trying every ridiculous thing we can think of. What else could we do? Uh, He's moving. Wah! <laughs> Is that your mating call? That's a Bigfoot call. <laughs> you, you gotta. You remember Big, the show Bigfoot Hunter? Oh yeah. <laughs> you, you gotta. Get, I was like, this is how they do it. You gotta get both legs spread, and you gotta. Nothing. Dude, there's a Bigfoot after it. You won't even get up. Hear <laughs> 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 that one again. Did that hurt your throat? <laughs> Gotta hurt my side. I was. <laughs> you ever had this hard of a problem getting an animal to stand up? No. Did you video him laying in? I, yeah, I videoed him for like three minutes doing the same <laughs> thing. <laughs> Boom! I don't think it's a bull. We got an okay look at him. I do not think it's a bull from yesterday. 
and I do not think it's a bull there. Honestly, I want to notch my tag on, and I have another week that can come back the last month before it closes, and that's what I'm gonna do. So, had a heck of a time on my once in a lifetime, and the hunt is extended. My wife isn't gonna be stoked. Neither is work, but whatever. After making some ridiculous sounds and trying to get this bull to stand up, I knew he wasn't what I was looking for on this hunt. We had passed better bulls, and I could come back the next weekend and try one more time to get it done. So that's what we did. We headed home to see the families and returned the next weekend in hopes of a better outcome. <laughs> oh my heck! Daddy! Oh! Oh, I love you guys. I missed you. All right, we're back up for a second trip and we're scrambled. We're about, I don't know, 20 minutes behind. We need to get over there and start glassing because our buddy called us last night and told us that uh, he spotted the big boy or at least a big boy. So we're going to go over there and try to get him killed this morning. So, right. And we got our friend Nicodemus with us. Come here, Nicodemus. Wait, AKA Beastmaster. He's embarrassed of his name. Cause he's not really a beast, but he calls himself Beastmaster. What? So rude. What's going on here? I like it. The Kentucky waterfall. Business in the front. Party in the back. Oh no! <laughs> Party everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Climber. You should get some, Nick. This was like hunting with Eric. Just an hour late. Forgot his phone. So. We'll make it there. I'm back up here for one day helping Eric on his moose hunt. And uh, I just spotted a bull that we saw once last, last time we were up here. He's a huge frame and he's got these giant spears for fronts. He doesn't have double fronts, they're just big spears. But, Anyway, Eric and Nick are over there trying to figure out what these bulls. There's a couple of bulls in the pines. I'm gonna keep looking over this guy and glassing into those pines, trying to find that big bull food. We're just hiking down this really thick brush and we just ran into another bull. That's a really good bull. He's got double fronts. Not very, he's got long, he's on long paddles, but not very wide. But anyway, there's gotta be one more bull in this game. We just saw another bull and we don't know if it's the one we just first saw. So anyway, that first one we were looking at there is a nice bull. We're gonna keep going and make sure that we're seeing everything that's in this canyon. Dash. We're doing as many updates as we can. Um, we got two bulls squaring off over here. Aaron still says he has a giant over on this next ridge. Nick and I are seeing some incredible moose action. Um, this is unreal. There's probably five bulls over in that draw. There's got to be a hot cow there. I thought the rut was over. Apparently it's not. We got to keep boogie over. Keep going. I elected to come down this lower lower ridge where I was at last week or the week before helping Eric and uh, I got the giant bull bedded right now. Big bull, man. He is big. So he's bedded out in the open. He's with that ugly broken bull. So Eric's going to come over. Him and Nick are going to meet with me. Um, I was able to get service and call him so they're on their way. Freaking nine days of honey, we've only seen him twice. So we're gonna make 
make the best of this opportunity. Nick and I just hiked out of the hole. Down here we had an awesome morning. Lots of bulls, bulls fighting. Aaron's got the big boy that we've called Pegasus that I had at 20 yards for a half hour down there, or some other big bull. We're gonna get in and try to get over there. Eric and Nick are going down the ridge to see if they can figure out the best way to shoot this bull. Um, I don't know how to do it. There's a razor ridge on the back side of this bull, but the problem is, is there's these like eight foot oak brush patch between the bull and that ridge. And then on this side of the bull, it's thick, thick aspens and pines. So I don't know how we're gonna get this bull, but anyway, Eric and Nick took off. They're gonna try to get different angles and see if anything makes sense, but he's just bedded with that ugly broken bull still and he's just relaxed. So crossing our fingers, it all works out. All right, Aaron, good work. You found us a giant. He's a freaking giant. Uh, Nick's marking on base map the ridge. We're gonna go down and uh, we're gonna get over there. And I've spent eight days hunting. I don't have any more days and there's a giant over there and I'm gonna pull out the Norma. I'm gonna pull out old Norma and we're gonna smack him with a 225 grain ELDM. So that's what we're doing. Hopefully we have a decent win when we get over there. So we don't blow them out, but. All right, we're about 390 yards from that stud bull. <clears throat> Wind's blowing right at him. He's gonna be a bit nervous, but the wind's also covering our sound, so we're gonna try to get up and over the, this other side so that we're out of sight and see if we can get a better angle. Get your bum down here. He's down. Holy crap. I was just sitting down and all of a sudden the bulls popped up and I barely got the camera on just in time to hear a shot go off. He's down. All right, we're going here to recover my once in a lifetime bull moose. Ended up pulling the rifle on day nine. Um, running out of time and man, pretty awesome. All right, Nick, what did we just do? Kill a moose. Just one day with the Beastmaster. One day with Beastmaster and we got it done. <laughs> He's the lucky variable. Film guy. Didn't get the kill shot. <laughs> Oh my word. Hold it up. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Oh my freaking giant. <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude. Man, they're big animals. 
Double brows. Tall paddles. Long tines. Freaking awesome, man. It makes you feel any better. Oh you my gosh. Go down to it. Oh. He's huge. Come on. What do you think? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Have a... Oh my gosh, look how heavy his fronts are. Yeah, crazy, huh? Whew. Good job spotting him. Dude, that's by far the big, I think that's bigger than Peg. Other than he's probably not as wide up top. That's by far the biggest. I think that's the biggest bull we've seen. I think so too. It's dead. Oh my gosh, look at his freaking body and feet. Just look at his Dude, tree trunks. When he was shooting it, it was kind of, it kind of got crazy because I didn't know they switched spots and he shoot and, and it didn't even flinch. I like, just kept flinch, putting, soaked every putting one lead in and I'm like, Dude, are you shooting? I the could wrong see through the scope because he shoot? was he went like this a little and this and then this. Like I could tell it was hitting him he and I could hear it hitting him. Lead. I'm like, uh oh. How tough are moose? Well, not tough enough, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, we're gonna mark us a marker where this bad boy is. So that we all know where the meat's at and we can share it with our loved ones. Capra Hunter TI out. Yeah, you can you pull a little? Kind of move. Alright, there you have it. One big ass back strap. Wow. Shiris backstrap, that is gonna be some delicious eats. You know Nick? Oh, no. Came all the way from Idaho down here to hunt with us. Aaron spotted him. It just goes to show you what a, sometimes what a team effort it makes. And you know what? Nick, it was a scramble over there. We didn't get the kill shot. Nick and I weren't able to make it, but Nick made up for it on the on the uh, breaking down the animal and harvesting the animal, which is, thanks Nick. He made it go a lot quicker, especially since it's a giant animal and we had to turn it and make photos and try to take other photos and whatnot. So, man, super grateful for Aaron and Nick and helping out. And now we're gonna pack out with just one bag of meat. We're gonna leave the rest and we have two more guys coming in and we're gonna haul it down. There's an old dirt road that we figured out that we can get on and just down below us so and we're gonna take the rest out. Or the meat's hanging, cooling and you know, there's a few bears around, but it should be high enough and yeah, should be high enough. All right, we're heading out to pack out, recruited the crew. We're gonna go Pack this sucker out in the snow. Up there. Yeah, we were met with a little surprise this morning. All this snow. Fluffy stuff. Loaded up and packing out. Um, Nick was the good luck charm. Nick came all the way down and to help out. Killed a world class Shiras of a lifetime, man. Nick just so happened to be a part of it, so that was pretty cool. 
Thanks, Nick. Now we're just headed home. See that? That's Nick Watson. He's running all the way up the road to get a cool shot of me driving up with the Tacoma, the Prince rack with the giant Shiras moose on top. So, so this, this next clip, clip, please appreciate the amount of effort that goes into it because Nick squealed and whined and moaned about having to get out to get this shot. So check it out. How'd you like getting that shot? So awesome. It's not cold out there at all. What's your truck say for temperature? 13 degrees. Whoa. 13, dude. It's cold. It's cold up on this ridge. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching the final episode of our Send It series. We had so much fun filming and working on this project. With more hunts right around the corner, we're starting to film season two. We're also working on Bear Boys 3.0 edits that we will be releasing very soon. Be sure to like this video, leave a comment, and let us know what you enjoyed about this moose hunt most. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next video.